This is what we believe. This is what is the future. Okay. Hi, I'm Paul. And I'm Eric. And we're with the Hollow Herald today, and we are going to be unboxing the future. Something very special. We see it as... It's, it's a major game changer. It's like the iPhone was to cell phones. Well, I guess smartphones. Um, it's like Netscape Navigator to the internet. Yeah. So, I guess let's just get into it and cut it open. Yep. Let's do it. So in here we have the HoloLens Wave 5 Dev Edition, the dev kit, and this is going to be the most current, the newest version of the HoloLens. It just got here yesterday, straight from China, shipped in one day. Now this, this, this unit right here is $3,000 straight up, and you, let's see what you get for 3K. that. So it looks like this is what we got here. We got the clicker, which is a new addition to the HoloLens, and we've got the HoloLens itself. Looks like it's pretty cool packaging. Yeah, someone really spent some time on it, I, th I think. It looks really nice. Looks a little bit more personalized. Yeah. We'll go ahead and we'll um, bring you up in a closer shot when we cut it open. All right, so here we have the unit. It's a little bit got some fingerprints on it from us touching it, but yeah. let's go ahead and we'll cut right into it. Okay. Plastic's ready to come off. All right, we got the clicker right there. We'll go ahead. Should we start with the clicker? Or should we... Yeah, well, let, let's start with the clicker. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna start with the clicker. We go cut that open. It's got a nice box. It's kind of rare when you get something in a dev kit like this that they actually put a little bit of effort into it. But the reason I'm gonna assume that they're putting effort into it is that this is gonna go to a lot of press people too. So, they're obviously going to put effort into it for people like us that are doing unboxing videos and other stuff like that. There we go. Just getting the plastic off now. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, okay, so now we have the clicker. It just opens up like that. And then you have it in there. It's just a really simple looking clicker. Pull it up by the little strap that goes around your finger. And I guess, oh, it has a nice little micro USB to charge and things like that. So, I guess you just put it on, and then yeah, just acts like a quick clicker. Pretty nice. Really nice construction. It's really good feeling. Can yeah. say what you think about it? Yeah, totally. So, um, what's interesting about this is this wasn't included in a lot of the other units. This is kind of a new addition. I don't, I don't really know how to use it yet, but that's kind of cool. It's got a nice. Oh, yeah, that it's got a nice, sounds really nice. It's got a nice feeling click to it, and it's got a nice ergonomic shape. We'll probably get some. I'll probably get some macro shots and throw them up while we're talking later for this. Um, some panning shots. So we can talk about it for a second. Looks like it's got the Windows logo. The on Windows it. logo. Oh, I think we've got instructions and stuff in here. So yeah, and then underneath that little thing that the clicker was actually resting, and we've got some instructions. Uh, I don't think you guys care about those, but... i go ahead and look through them. Yeah, it's just really simple. Yeah, so we'll, we'll just have to look at that and maybe highlight them on the setup video for this. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll be doing lots more videos about this. But, um, so it looks like that's what you get. With the clicker, of course. Yeah, this is the clicker. Um, yeah, so... Yeah. So, the boot, so this actually connects to the HoloLens via Bluetooth which is kind of a new addition. The the HoloLens can now support Bluetooth, um, I can't remember the codec, but um, it can support a, a different kind of Bluetooth, which is cool. I'll go ahead and look that up. Okay, we'll go ahead and move on to the HoloLens. Okay, now on to the HoloLens itself. Now this is cool. We're gonna we're gonna tease you for a second about this. Yeah. Um, Teasing me. So I'm gonna assume that the blue is for Windows 10 because this is actually supposed to be a big um, seller selling point for Windows 10. This is supposed to be what helps launch Windows 10 and what 
brings it to consumer level because now it's just a OS. So it's got a cool little ridge line right around here, so it's actually like a box. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll, we'll pull this off. Whoa. Well, that looks nice. So first you can see, we'll save that for a second. It's got a nice blue interior. It's got some nice matte foam. Really thick, heavy box right here, at the top at least. Yeah, really high quality feeling. We'll put this to the side. So I guess it came inside of its carrying case. So if you get a look at that. We'll save but that for yeah, a second. We'll, yeah, we'll push that to the side and we'll just... Looks like we have the... This is where the... Uh, the carrying case was hidden, and it looks like we've got a little bit of a starter's guide, regulatory and warranty guide, so this is just a warranty oh, for I, th it. I think it's informing us that we don't have a warranty with this, actually. Yeah, because it's a dev kit. Yeah, I think. So, we got right here. There's nothing in there. Looks like there's no, no instructions or anything. We'll see if there's any in when we get into the actual, actual HoloLens carrying case. Well, hopefully if you're buying the HoloLens right now, you know what you're getting yourself into and you won't need any instructions. So this is a really nice case there. You can see, I don't know. Down here. This is where I have it focused. Sorry, I don't know if you can see, but that's a little HoloLens logo. Actually, it says HoloLens on it. It's got this really nice finger loop, I'm guessing. It's just really nice suede material. Yeah. And then, oh yeah, that's, that's nice. Yeah, and then right around here, I was noticing the zipper is actually really nice. It's like solid metal, it's just... It's got a solid zipper, it looks like. Yeah. It looks like it's got um, kind of a grippy underneath so it doesn't slide around too much. It's pretty the, good. And this is a hard case. It might look soft, but it is a hard case. So... So this is also our first time opening it, so hopefully... Yeah, you're gonna some. see our reactions, so... It's got a pretty tough zipper. It's got a nice little rubber inlay, probably waterproof, I'm gonna guess. Or water resistant. Water resistant, to say the least. Hollow lens. This is pretty yeah. good. This is good packaging, and you better expect cool packaging for 3K. Oh, cool. oh, that's awesome looking. That's awesome. Here. I don't think they can see what we can yeah, see. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is gonna look as impressive. We're gonna have to get some. We'll just talk for right now, yeah. and we'll get some sweeping shots of what it looks like all put together right now. We're just gonna kind of go over it. So it looks like, um, I don't know where to start. It just looks like, it looks futuristic. <laughs> it looks futuristic as hell. Like, the, the glass on the front where, like, the viewing glass is just so clear and cool looking. There's cameras everywhere on it. So, it looks like, it just looks awesome. So it looks like right here it says Microsoft on it, and it has, we have um, start here, connect. Oh, that, that's French or something. Oh. Um, <laughs> commence. Oh, commence easy ICI. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'll have to look at the. Well, it says start here. Okay, so we pull that off. Oh, that's a really nice piece of foam, actually. Like, oh, yeah, really, really a little... solid piece of foam. It's actually like an actual block. Yeah. So this is pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna put this over here. That says, like, let's get started. Okay, it looks like we got our little kit right here. And this is just an unboxing video. We'll do a uh, full a actual setup video and you guys can, we'll walk everyone through the setup process as we're setting it up for the first time, hopefully. So it looks like, it tells us what's in the box. We've got, okay, it says we've got our case, the hollow lens, the nose pad, which is underneath here. Oh, it looks like- That's a clinging. It looks like we have, this is the nose pad right here. Well, like, I, like I said again, I'll do sweeping shots of all this because it's not going to make much sense. Looks like we've got our micro USB cable, um, our overhead strap, a wall charger, and the microfiber cloth to clean your lens. Looks like that's what we have for my Paul can go ahead and pull all that out. Yeah, so you. here's the... Oh, that, there's the wall charger. It's small, actually. I was surprising something a little bigger, maybe. But that's really nice, actually. Feels good, plastic, but it feels really nice. That's some high quality plastic. We can hear how solid that is actually. And then we've got microfiber, just your classic microfiber cloth, nothing much there. So it has a little Microsoft logo actually embedded into it, probably burned in there. Um, micro USB for charging. Um, nose pads in there too. It's in the top there. And this is the head strap in case you need to adjust it. So, oh, that's really nice feeling. It's really smooth plastic. And yeah, there's the, 
I'll leave. The, I'm gonna leave the nose cover in there for now, but it just looks like something you'd have on a pair of sunglasses or glasses. Then it looks like we have the Hololens unit itself. Wow, that's heavier than I thought it was gonna be. So, first, very, very first impressions are heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Well, my battery's gonna die soon. Heavier than I thought it was gonna be, and cooler than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, just it's smaller. It's smaller, but at the same time, heavier. It's interesting. Go ahead and tell me what you think. I'm gonna go ahead and move the case out of the way. I'm move all this stuff out. I wouldn't say heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Just feeling the heaviness of the box, but like oh, this is. It just looks so cool to me. Like, oh, there's a pretty good view, I think. So, oh, the glass on the front's a lot thicker, though. Yeah, glass is really thick. But when you look at, like, what you're actually going to look through, mm -hmm. it looks really cool. It seems like they already have a nose thing on it, so I think that nose thing in there is, is actually a replacement. Um, yeah, it, it just... It is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Looking yeah. at the videos, people it looked like it took up more of people's faces, but this looks like it might actually look like reasonably like a pair of glasses on someone. Yeah. I don't know, we'll have to see. So, more initial first impressions. I'll kind of walk you through what we got right here. It looks like we have some buttons. We've got a volume button. Yeah, volume rocker. Volume settings. Uh, looks like we have brightness settings over here on the left side and audio on the right side. Looks like we have a adjustable headband. This is where you'll adjust it because this is actually what sits on your head is this inner part right here. And then the outer part is just what keeps it straight. So looks like it's got really comfortable, really nice. Go ahead and feel that. Oh yeah, that's oh that's memory foam. Yeah, yeah, that's some nice gel. I've used a lot of VR headsets. That feels pretty good compared to a lot of the VR headsets on the phone. It is heavier. We'll do a much more in-depth view at it for you know, but you know, it's got some. It's got a window symbol over here. Looks like if we look at it, if we tip it up to the under underside. Um, you can see what we were talking about with the thicker glass. Yeah, it's got some thick glass. It looks like there's a few panes. Mm -hmm. There's at least three that we can see, so there's the one that your eye would look through first, and then, oh no, that's actually like five points of glass. So there's like, if you can see, I don't think you can see on the video, it's, but we'll, we'll, It's very clear, we'll do, we'll, yeah. I'll do more up close shots of it. But. but there's like five panes of glass just stacked super tight together, and they make up, I think, the actual like glasses themselves. They almost look like a pair of bifocals. It's pretty interesting. So. so, if you guys, just for a little bit of a size comparison, if you guys know what a standard Rubik's Cube is, there's about your size comparison. So it's quite a bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. Um, that's about all I have for size comparison right now. But, so it's not not big at all, way less bulky than I mm -hmm. thought it was going to be. It's a very nice looking unit though. I th this is I'm, super I'm definitely impressed. The glass is extremely clear. When we're talking about five panes of glass, it does not look... Like, you can see right through it clear as day. Like, I, I'll go ahead and hold it up to the camera. It's gonna be blurry, but there's a little bit of tinting. It's kind of blurry, but there's a little bit of tinting in there, but not much. I'll do more up close shots of it. Okay, I guess we're go ahead. Next thing is to just try it on. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll talk a little bit. It looks like we've got some sensors. Some, these are your sensors right here on the top part. And it looks like you got your camera right there. It's got a built-in camera on it. It's kind of hard to talk about and keep everything in view at the same time. So, like I said, we're just gonna have to take a lot more shots. Looks like you got your yeah. speakers. These red things look like they're your speakers. Looks like you've got your micro USB kit, micro USB plug right here, and then interesting that it plugs in right that, and that looks like audio. You, yeah, audio. So that's interesting. But what are there's these buttons back here that I was... Sync, maybe? Oh, no, I don't know what that is. I don't know. But There's a lot of buttons. Look at the instructions, yeah. and we'll be back in with a little bit more in-depth.